center, Max Fielder, a 6'11 junior from uh, Indiana Atlantic, Florida. For Pepperdine, they will start up front, Max Lewis, Javon Porter, and Carson Basham, the guards of Mike Mitchell Jr. and Houston Millette. The Waves, a very young team, four sophomores and a freshman begin this 2022-2023 season. Our official sport hold here in the Southland. Waves last year were seven and nine in this building. The Owls last year on the road were six and 12. Waves will be moving left to right in their white, orange, and blue. And for Rice there in their blue and gray, and they start in the man-to-man -man defense. Waves hope to improve on their offense from last year, averaging just 68 points a game while shooting only 42% from the field. For Rice, who averaged better than nine points a game, as the Waves go inside, and Carson Basham gets the lay-in. So for Rice, last year they averaged 74 game, four points a game, nine threes per contest, and they shot 46% from the floor. A team that finished fifth in the West Division of Conference USA, Fiedler inside and lays it up and in. Max Fiedler, who is an excellent passer, he's 6'11", 235, right side Porter, three-point shot is long, and the rebound grab and taken by the freshman, Makai Mason. Right side dribbling to the basket, tied up, and the ball goes out of bounds. And last touch by the Waves in possession to Rice with 24 on the shot clock. So we are tied at two, both teams going inside early. Carson Basham at 6'10", 240. A sophomore right side, three-point shot is long by Evie. Had 86 threes last year. That was third best in the conference USA. Max Lewis out in front, three-point shot is off the mark. A rebound grabbed by Quincy Oliveri, 6'3", 200-pound junior guard out of Atlanta. Average 10 points and six rebounds a game. Mason dribbled to the basket and laid up and in. The freshman guard, Makai Mason, 6'5", out of Gilbert, Arizona, and went to Compass Prep last year, averaging 15 points a game. The freshman getting the start. Right side, Mike Mitchell, Jr., Guarded there by Evie, Mitchell in the lane, left side Lewis, 12 on the shot clock, Mitchell top of the key, three point shot is good. Mark Mitchell Jr. knocking down the three, and the Waves have a five to four lead, and just the start of things, we play two minutes. Waves starting the man to man defense, Waves really want to improve on their defense this season. Swing it left side, Sheffield to Oliveri inside the Fiedler, throws it up, shot rolls off. And the rebound grabbed by Houston Millette. Millette, Lewis, and Mitchell were all on the West Coast Conference freshman team last year. Millette's jumper misses, ball goes out of bounds, and last touch by Pepperdine, and Rice will bring it in. So for Rice University out of Conference USA, it's an 11 team conference going through a lot of changes. Six schools are going to leave Conference USA and go to the American Athletic Conference. Six. Right side, three point shot by Evie is off the mark. And Malek gets it down the floor to Lewis. Long pass saved by Basham. Throws it off the leg of Fiedler. Pepperdine ball. Heads up by Carson Basham. One thing about the Waves, they have a great size. They have five players, 6'9 or taller. All right, Waves will bring it in. Heading back to the Conference USA, 11 schools this year. Ball goes in along the baseline. Millette jumper, and he got it. Houston Millette. It was a preseason all-conference selection. He averaged 14 points a game last year. He set a Pepperdine freshman record with 71 threes. Out in front, Oliveri's three-pointer is long. Millette fumbles. Waves have the lead seven to four, and the ball is tied up. Oh, alternating possession. possession Rice. Rice will maintain possession and bring it in. But for six schools leaving the Conference USA for the American Athletic, including Rice, North Carolina, Charlotte, Alabama, Birmingham, Texas, San Antonio, North Texas, and Florida Atlantic. However, Conference USA will have four schools on the baseline. Mason 
Deep in the corner along the baseline, Oliveri. Out in front, Sheffield. Three-pointer is good. Cameron Sheffield, a reserve last year at 23 threes, and we're tied at seven. 16.38 to go. Millett's long shot missing. And the ball taken by Evie. Evie, a transfer from VMI last year, and he'll pull up a three-pointer and gets it. Make it a two for Travis Evie. 14 points a game last year. Honorable mention all-conference. A transfer from VMI in 2020, and he was the Southern Conference Freshman of the Year. This is Porter. Turns, 15-foot jumper, rolls off. A rebound grabbed by Evie. Travis Evie in 2021 was the Conference USA Newcomer of the Year. Nice block there by a Porter. And the Ways get it down the floor. Left side, Millette with the dribble and bumped him foul. Going to be on Quincy Oliveri. First on him, the first team foul against Weiss. We got a timeout, 15.53 to go. Nines and shoot a lot of threes. The Waves averaged a little better than seven threes per game last year. Nice block by Javon Porter, the freshman from Columbia, Missouri, making his first start. The Waves have the ball moving left to right. Tonight's game being brought to you by University Credit Union. In the West Coast Conference, they will lose Brigham Young. They're headed to the Big 12. Nice defensive effort by Rice. And the ball will come inbounds to Pepperdine with 13 on the shot clock. BYU will head to the Big 12 after this year. They've been in the conference for 11 seasons. For Conference USA, next year they're going to have a bring in Liberty, Jacksonville State, New Mexico State, and Sam Houston, and then Kennesaw State in 2024 joins Conference USA. Three on the shot clock. We're going to get traveling against Pepperdine. Waves last year averaged 15 turnovers a game. Both these teams are excellent free throw shooting squads. Each at 72%. Rebounding the Waves were a minus four per game last year, and the Owls were a plus one. Pepperdine last season finished in 10th place in the West Coast Conference. So they are looking to move up. They would start four true freshmen and a sophomore inside Fiedler. Shot rolls off. And the rebound grabbed by Bubakar Kulabali. A 6'10 transfer from USC. Mitchell off the mark. The ball goes out of bounds and Rice will bring it in. Uh, both teams shooting a lot of threes. Jan Zedek comes in for Pepperdine. Had been a starter over the last couple seasons. The 6'9 senior from Prague, Czech Republic. Averaged 13 points a game last year. 37 threes at 6'9. Very tough to guard on the perimeter. And he's very strong inside. Fiedler, who actually led the Owls in assists last year, averaging almost four a game at the center position. 10 on the shot clock. 9-7 Rice down the lane. This is Evie. Ball knocked away by Lewis. Taken uh, in the front court. Weighs uh, Malik Moore. Left side Zedak. His three-pointer is long. Uh, and grabbed there by Alam uh, Husenovic. Left side three-pointer off the mark by Evie. Inside the ball thrown up and in by Andrew Okuche. A 6-9 freshman able to put it back up and in. Uh, and there's a foul on the play. Don Zedek, one on him, and the first team foul against Pepperdine. Well, each team with only one foul, 14-25 left, and trying to complete the three-point play is Andrew Okuche. He's out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Went to St. Thomas Aquinas High School, and the free throw good, and the Owls lead 12-7. According to the local papers, Pepperdine came into this game as a four-and-a-half-point favorite. Malik Moore for Pepperdine, 6'5", freshman from Simi Valley. Left side, Lewis backing in on the baseline turn. Give it inside to Koulibaly, who fumbles it. Uh, let's see who touched it last. Uh, and last touch by Rice, 13 on the shot clock. 12-7 Rice, 14-08 remaining. On the baseline, Moore. At 6'5", a big guard playing the point. It goes to Millett. Right side pulls up for a three-pointer. That doesn't go. And Fiedler with the rebound. He averaged 10 points and eight rebounds a game last year. And he shot 58% from the floor. 
His uncle, Brian Bollinger, played football at North Carolina and played in the NFL with the 49ers from 86 through 90. Right side driving, Husanovich throws it up and in. It's going to count as fouled. Husanovich, the transfer from Nevada, are they going to say an offensive foul? No basket. Husanovic, 6'4 junior from Bosnia, plays on the Bosnia junior national team, played his high school ball in Phoenix. So picks up the foul, second team foul against Rice, and a turnover for the Owls. They averaged 13 a game last year. More right side dribbling. We're going to get, let's see, a legal screen. Going to be on Koulibaly, an illegal screen. First on him, second team foul against the Waves, and a turnover. 13-34 left in the first half. And Rice with a 12-7 lead. And Waves uh, have not scored in almost four minutes. And for Rice on a 5-0 run in the lane. Shot blocked there by Lewis. The ball tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Rice. Pepperdine ball. A nice play by Max Lewis at 6-7, a sophomore. Four-star recruit coming out of Las Vegas. A lot of NBA scouts coming to Pepperdine practices. They've had as many as nine in some practices, and they've been looking at Max Lewis and Houston Millette. More playing the point, top of the key. Man defense by Rice, Oliveri on him. Lewis goes inside the Koulibaly. Two years at USC with the Trojans. Turns, jump hook, and score. Rubikar <laughs> Koulibaly. He's mainly an excellent defensive player, long and athletic. He's 6'11", 220. And he's in there for defense and rebounding, but uh, get some points from him as a plus. Fiedler driving, double teamed by Zedek, who hits it out of bounds. 12.42 uh, remaining, 12-9 in favor of Rice. Mike Mitchell Jr. comes back in. Javon Porter, the 6'11 freshman out of Columbia, Missouri. Father Tolton High School averaged 24 points and 13 rebounds a game last year. Oliveri out in front to Sheffield. To Oliveri, 6'3", 200-pound junior out of Atlanta. Eight on the shot clock. Right side, dribble to the basket, losing the ball. That is Sheffield. Pepperdine forces the turnover. Left side, Moore, three-point shot is good. Malik Moore with the three. And the Ways forcing the turnover, capitalizing, and tie the game up at 12, and they're on a 5-0 run. On him from Makai Mason. Top of the circle, dribble, spin, go down the lane, put it up, shot no good. Porter gets it, but throws it away, and Oliveri missed the lay-in. Rebound grabbed by Millett. Left side to Moore. Malik Moore with the dribble, go down the lane, bad pass, and throws it away. Rice down the floor, Oliveri left side in the corner, three-pointer way off the mark. Pepperdine's Mitchell. Now both teams want to get out and run. Gulabali comes to Moore. Right side to Mike Mitchell out of San Jose, 6'2 sophomore. Had 56 threes last year. Here's Millett way outside, three-pointer is good. Boy, Houston Millette had to be 27 feet out. Oliveri at the other end and bumped and fouled. Going to be against Millette, one on him. Three team fouls against the Waves. We get a timeout, 11.22 to play. Waves on an 8-0 in fifth. For Pepperdine, they are picked either sixth or seventh in the West Coast Conference. And Gonzaga picked number one, followed by St. Mary's, Brigham Young, San Francisco, and Loyola Marymount. The Waves looking to improve. Free throw no good by Oliveri. Pepperdine has made 6 of 15 to start things off. 40% from the field. Weiss has cooled off now 5 of 17 from the floor. 29%. Rebounding 11-10 Pepperdine. Next free throw good by Oliveri. And his first points of the game. Averaged 10 points a game last year. He's an excellent outside shooter in his career. He has 145 threes. 15-13, Pepperdine, Batcher back in, turns, pivots, pivots again, throws it up and in. 
Carson Basham with four, 17-13 Pepperdine, 10-58 remaining. And a lot of the backcourt, boy, the crowd, a lot of students have shown up on this rather cold, rainy night. Right side, Oliveri to E.B. Well, they stay in their man-to-man -man defense. They want to put a lot of pressure on the ball. E.B. dribbling left side to Sheffield. We'll back it up. It goes to Jake Leepert. Three on the shot clock. Evie down the lane, puts it up, shot comes up short. Evie gets the rebound. And Rice will reset the shot clock at 20 and winding down to 14. 10.22 to play in the first half. In the corner, Oliveri with eight on the shot clock. Right side, three-point jumper is good by Travis Evie. 17-16, Beverdine, 10.09 left. Malik Moore right side, good looking freshman guard. Porter outside, three-pointer rattles, inning comes out. Javon Porter's brother, Michael, playing with the Denver Nuggets as we get a block on Pepperdine. It's gonna be on Malik Moore, one on him, four team fouls against the Waves. 9.58 remaining before halftime, and Rice trailing by one, 17-16. Actually had some rain here in Southern California. Of course, in the middle of a drought, it rarely rains out west, but uh, get some today and a lot more tomorrow. Rice will head back home and take on St. Thomas Thursday night. Uh, Division II school out of Texas. Waves are Cal State Fullerton on Friday. Seven o'clock game, Evie's three-pointer, and he gets a Travis Evie with eight. That's what he does best, 86 threes last year. And the Owls get the lead in 1970. They go on a 7-0 run. Basham inside, lays it up and in, but it won't count. No basket, traveling on Basham. The waves of turnover, their third. Rice with three as well. And we have 9.38 left. 19-17 Rice. John Zedek comes in for Pepperdine. I know his dad, George, who played on that 95 UCLA National Championship team. The first round pick of Charlotte played in the NBA for three years. George was 6'11. Deep in the corner, Leaper is three pointer, and he gets it. So, but the Rice Owls starting to make some threes. They're now four of nine beyond the arc, and they've gotten the lead at 22 to 17. They've gone on a 9 0 run. This is Basham, top of the key. 9 0 4 to play in the corner. This is Porter's three pointer, hits the rim. And Fiedler gets it at 6-11. Right side, uh, this is Leeper dribbling to the basket. Kick it out to Sheffield. Three-pointer is short. And Millette's got it. Millette in the front court. The side, Lewis. He'll stop and shoot a three. Max Lewis. Waves have made four of 12 threes, and it's become a three-point shooting contest. 22-20 Rice, and we have eight and a half to play. This is Fiedler. Free throw line, swing it left side to Sheffield. Waves stay in that man defense. Evie up top, his three-pointer hits the rim. Boy, both teams just firing away from the outside. Basham down low. Back out to Lewis. Lewis dribbling, will stop and shoot a three. It's way off. Grabbed by Porter. He's triple team, but puts it up and in. Uh, Javon Porter with a nice rebound. They had three Rice Owls all over him. He was able to score. We're tied at 22. Well, the Waves on a nice run. Fiedler swing it in the corner to Sheffield. Out in front to Oliveri. His three-pointer rattles in and out. And Pepper down with the rebound. Clock winding down. 742 to play. Millette outside with a shot. Used to Millett with seven. A two-pointer, 24-22 Pepperdine, seven and a half to go. At halftime, we'll visit with Pepperdine head basketball coach Lorenzo Romo. Interview with Dave Drolier, have some highlights and stats, get you ready for the second half. Left side, this is Leeper, a former JC All-American. Oliveri inside to Fiedler, missed the lay-in. Rebound grabbed by Porter. Down the floor to Lewis, right side. Backs in along the baseline. Jumper's good. Max Lewis. Pepperdine did a nice job isolating the sophomore. We get a timeout taken by Rice. Pepperdine with teams have four threes made. And the Owls are four of 12, 33%. Pepperdine four of 13, 31%.
And the waves on a little bit of a run here as this first half winding down before a nice crack about a thousand. Stone Fieldhouse, three pointer by Oliveri. Knocking down the jumper, he has four. And it's 26-25 Pepperdine, the fifth three-pointer for the Rice Owls. The city of Firestone Field, 100, so it's a small arena. Zedek out in front. Right side it goes to Porter. Mentioned his brother Michael playing with the Denver Nuggets. Missed shot by Lewis. Zedek cannot get it, and now the very front guard. 6-19 to play, driving to the basket all the way. Quincy Oliveri. And Pepperdine takes a timeout with 6.17 to go. 26 Rice. Welcome back into Firestone Fieldhouse. While we're away, the Waves have the lead, 28-27, and the Owls with the ball. We have 5.30 to go, and this shot by Oliveri for three is good again. Oliveri with nine, Evie with eight, leading Rice. Time left by Houston, seven. In the corner, three points is off the mark. Ball taken by Fiedler. 17 remaining. Biggest lead by either team and has been that close. Rice has been five and a three-pointer missing by Oliveri. The rebound it comes up and we get a foul. Pepperdine's biggest lead has been four. They've gone back and forth throughout this first half. There'll be a foul on Sheffield. Not a lot of fouls. The officials letting these teams play. Only three team fouls against Rice and the Waves with four. There have been seven lead changes and four ties in this first half. And Mike Mitchell comes out of the backcourt. Left side, uh, Houston Millette at 6'5". 17-foot jumpers, good. Uh, Houston Millette with nine. He had originally committed to uh, Penn State and then changed. He's from Southern California. Houston Millette on the offensive team. 6'5", 175, sophomore from Alameda. Oliveri's long jumper, no good. Rebound taken by Lewis. Down the floor to Basham, right side, pivots, lays it up and in. 32-30, Pepperdine, four and a half to go. Houston Millette's dad, Wesley, is the athletic director at UC Riverside. All right, front court, Evie. 419 left, 16 on the shot clock. It goes to Fiedler. Bad pass, but recovering and... Holding on to Zeebe, eight on the shot clock. Evie down the lane, puts it up. It rolls off. Fiedler gets the rebound. Out to Oliveri, three-pointer. That's off the mark. Fiedler with the rebound. We're going to get a foul. Going to be on Fiedler. First on him, four team fouls against Rice, and Pepperdine will get the ball. And you see the six some junior out of India, Florida. And in out of the backcourt. Four minutes left in the first half. Renzo Roma, the head coach of the Waves, fifth season, assisted by Ken Bone, the associate head coach, Gerald Brown and Curtis Allen, John Imbleman, director of team operations. Lewis inside. Max Lewis posting up at 6'7 out of Las Vegas. Four-star recruit. And the Waves up 34 to 30 with three and a half to go. This is Evie out of the backcourt. There's the Owls moving right to left in the blue, white, and gray. This is Mason, the freshman jumper, no good. Rebound tipped and taken by Basham. In the front court to Porter. Porter dribbling in the air, put it up and in. Javon Porter is 6'11", but he handles the ball like he's 6'2". Just a freshman. Seven siblings, brothers and sisters. 
out in front, a shot attempt banked in by Husinovich, the transfer from Nevada. At the other end, Basham put it up and in. Well, if nothing else in this is an exciting game, Ways lead 38-32, 2.45 left. As in the front court, Evie. Well, he had this frenetic pace up and down the court. Teams are going to have to go to their bench. This is Makai Mason, the freshman, top of the key. Inside the fielder, we're going to get a foul on Javon Porter with a hold. One on him. Five team fouls against Pepperdine. We get a timeout. Two minutes, 31 seconds to play in the first half. 38th of the ball like he's 6 2. A little bit like Giannis of the Milwaukee Bucks as the waves go inside to Carson Basham. Basham with eight points in the game. Millette with nine and Lewis with seven topping Pepperdine. It is Rice ball under the Pepperdine basket. Left side, this is uh, Husinovich. Right side to Makai Mason, 12 on the shot clock. 2.19 to go in the first half. Fiedler on the weave. Right side, Sheffield, a long three-pointer. Sheffield with his second three has six, and it's 38 to 35, Pepperdine. Nine for Oliveri, eight for Eby, and they lead the Owls. Two minutes left in the first half. This is Millette out in front. Man defense, both teams straight up man to man. This is Mike Mitchell. Back three pointer is off the rim. Rebound grab and taken by the Owls. Long pass down the floor. This is Sheffield driving. The ball knocked out of his hands. And last touch by Sheffield. Pepperdine ball. Wave shooting 50 from the floor. 17 of 31. Down percent 12 of 34. A little disconcerting for Pepperdine. Shooting almost 55 percent, but they only have 30 to go. Left. He'll stop and shoot a three, and it goes in. Max Lewis with 10. Pepperdine 41, Rice 35. And the Owls, who last year went 16 and 17 on the season, they got them into the CBI tournament, and they lost in the first round to Ohio. Waves won the CBI in 2021, and then had an off year last year. Down the lane, Mason throw it up. His shot no good, but he draws the foul. For Pepperdine, 16 fouls. Going to be on Max Lewis, one on him, and that will give Rice free throws. One mix. 41-35, Pepperdine. For the Owls, three starters back off last year's team, nine Letterman. Again, they're moving to the American Athletic Conference next year. Out of the Conference USA. Free throw, no good. As a team last season, Rice was very good at 72%. Uh, Makai Mason, the freshman, makes the next free throw. He has three points. 41-36 waves have the lead. One minute and two seconds left. And out of the backcourt, Mike Mitchell, Jr. Out of San Jose, California, four-star recruit, top guard, Inside to Lewis on the baseline, turns and knocks it down. Max Lewis with 12. He was on the all-conference freshman team last year. Averaged 11 points a game at 6-7. Waves biggest lead by either team, 7. 43-36, 34 seconds remaining. Driving Sheffield and slams it in. 30 seconds to go. The shot clock. Just about even with the game clock. 24 seconds left. 43-38 Pepperdine, a high-scoring game. And according to the local papers, Pepperdine came into this game as a five-point favor. Waves are going to go for the final shot, 12 seconds. Mike Mitchell dribbling, top of the key with eight. Swing it to Lewis with six. Out to Millette with four. Millette's three-pointer, good! One second, the first half is over. Teams go into the locker room. Pepperdine with a late run. So we'll find out in the second half. Our officials for tonight's game, Ken Diddy, Sir Alan Connor, and Toby Doolittle. Waves with Porter along with Basham, Millette, Lewis, and Mike Mitchell. For Rice in their blue, white, and gray, they have uh, 
the four guards as the ball taken away by Evie and the Waves turn it over their seventh of the night. We've got Evie Oliveri along with Fiedler, Mackay Mason, and Cameron Sheffield. Left side, Oliveri dribbled to the basket, lost it. And for the Owls, just their fourth turnover of the game. It's one reason why they're only down by eight as we start this second half. 46-38, Pepperdine with the lead. Right side to Porter with the dribble, go into the lane, turn, throws it up, and shot is short. Porter gets the rebound, put it in. Well, you're gonna like Javon Porter. 48-38, biggest lead of the night for Pepperdine. The Rice Owls, located in Houston, Texas, enrolling about 8,500 students. Fiedler inside lays it up and in. Tuition about $49,000. And a series between these two schools that began back in 1945. They met last year as Porter hits the three-pointer. Javon Porter with 11. 51 to 40, Pepperdine. We have 18.40 to go in the second half. Feed the right side. And along the baseline, Sheffield. In the corner, Evie, a three-pointer won't go. Lewis gets it. So Rice in Houston, Texas. Here's Lewis, a three-pointer, and that's good. And Pepperdine off to a great start. 54 to 40, Pepperdine to begin. Javon Porter with 11. Houston Millette has 12 points in the game. For Rice, their top scorer, Quincy Oliveri with nine, Travis Eby with eight, and uh, the Owls, seven of 19 beyond the arc. 36 percent. Waves now shooting 59 percent for the game as the Owls try to slow down the momentum of Pepperdine. This is Oliveri right side. It goes to Fiedler, taken away by Mitchell. Waves forced the turnover. The lob to Lewis laid up and in. Oh, nice pass by Mike Mitchell Jr. The steal and then the lay in by Lewis who has 17 and the Waves on a 10-2 run to begin the second half. 56 to 40 Pepperdine underneath the Sheffield lays it up and missed it. Basham with the rebound. Goes to Mike Mitchell Jr. Mentioned Rice University, a small private school, one of the top medical and dental and pharmaceutical research universities in the country. And located right next to the Texas Medical Center. So again, about 8,500 students. Pepperdine, a small private school located in Malibu with about 8,000 students. Missed shot by Mitchell and Fiedler with the rebound. Tuition in Pepperdine is around $77,000 a year. And still growing with 8,000 students. Great business law programs. Uh, left side three-pointer and knocking it down, Makai Mason. He has six points in the game, the freshman out of Gilbert, Arizona. 56 to 43, Pepperdine with the lead. 16-55 remaining. Right side, Porter. Again, at 6-11, he can handle the ball like a 6-2 guard. Again, the Waves have done a good job of isolating along the baseline. Porter's three-pointer, and he got it. Javon Porter was 17. 59 to 43, Pepperdine. And according to the local papers, Pepperdine came into this game as a five-point favorite. Left side, Sheffield. Waves really pressuring outside. Basin down the lane, stumbles, and we get traveling. By Pepperdine feeding off the crowd. We got about a thousand on hand here at the Dine, and it has given Pepperdine an emotional lift. 16 21 to play, 59 43. Pepperdine. As you see Mason stumbling and getting caught with the travel. Waves out of the backcourt, Mike Mitchell Jr. Right side, this is Mike Mitchell out to Millette. Waves done a good job taking care of the ball, and they forced some turnovers here in the second half. Three already. Lewis outside, three pointers, good. Max Lewis with 20, 62, 43. Pepperdine by 19, 15, 50 to play. The Waves are just red hot. Here's Evie's three pointer long. Fiedler gets the rebound, and we'll back it up. Uh, for Pepperdine shooting the lights out beyond the arc. 
They have made 10 of 21, 48% driving this Travis Eby. He has eight, 10 points in the game, 62-45, Pepperdine. Waves last year only averaged a little better than seven threes a game and already have 10. Ball hit out of bounds, last touch by Rice. It will be Pepperdine ball, 15-22 to go. Waves up, 62-45. You're watching Wavecast on the W for the 11th beam brought to you by University Credit Union. The Waves and Titans on Friday, our next Wavecast will be on Sunday against Alabama State on the 13th at 2 p.m. on the WCC Network. All right, Pepperdine ball, 17 on the shot clock. Lewis red out with 20 points, throws it up and in. Max Lewis with 22 points. Last year as a freshman, he had as many as 27. And the Waves up by 19, 64-45 with 15 minutes to go. Houston Millett, who has 12 points in the game, as Oliveri hits the three, he has 12. Houston Millett has now made a three-pointer in 27 consecutive games. Zedek inside. Nice pass by Mike Mitchell, Jr., 66-48. We have 14.35 to go. The Pepperdine school record consecutive three-pointers, Terrence Johnson of 32, set back in 2003-2004. And Millett now 27 straight games. Mason driving and draws the foul. Uh, Makai Mason will go to the line. Foul's gonna be on border, second on him. Just the first in the second half against the Waves. It's a lot like last year when Pepperdine went down to Houston. It was a two-point game at halftime and then Rice blew it open, went on to an 82-63 win. The teams hadn't met in 40 years. In fact, Rice has not been in Malibu since 1981. They first played in 1945. This is the fifth meeting between the two schools, and they're all even at two wins apiece. Free throw good by Mason. He has seven points in the game. 66-49 Pepperdine. Wave led at halftime, 46-38. But their ability to work inside, isolate down low, and then, of course, making threes. Next free throw doesn't go, and Lewis with the rebound. For Rice University, and just so you know, it's not named after the carbohydrate. Down the lane, Mitchell. Mitchell with five. He also has five assists, 68 to 49. Ways really established themselves at the start of the second half. And a foul going to be on Koulibaly with a reach. Second on him, second team foul against Pepperdine, out of bounds to Rice. The story about Rice University, it's kind of a dark drama. It is named after William Marsh Rice, a very wealthy businessman in the Houston area back in the late 1800s. And a bad pass thrown away, and the Owls turn it over, and Pepperdine's got it. Mitchell front guard, 68-49 Pepperdine. So William Barsh Rice, in his will, designated a lot of money to building a brand new school. Koulibaly with the land. 70-49, Pepperdine, 13-40 to go. William Marsh Rice was so wealthy as Feeler down the middle slams it in. He was so wealthy that his butler and attorney tried to steal the money from William Marsh Rice, and they ended up murdering him in 1900. They didn't get away with it. They were caught and put into jail. And the will was so strong, the money was designated to building Rice University that opened in 1912. Ball tipped out of bounds by Rice, Pepperdine ball. 13-15 to go in the second half. Pepperdine 70, Rice 51. As you see, Fiedler as the waves up. Misses Simon, an easy slam for Fiedler. Ball into Zedek, three-pointer, rattles in and comes out. Fiedler with the rebound, it's gonna be a foul. Gonna get a foul underneath, gonna be against Pepperdine. That's the Waves' third team foul, out of bounds. You see Lorenzo Romar in his fifth season, 26th year overall. And he's being inducted into the Southern California Basketball Hall of Fame this year. Mitchell with a jumper. Oh, 
by the Waves offensively. Unstoppable tonight. 72-51 Waves, 12-58 to go. This really does look like last year's game as Mitchell commits the foul on the dribble. His first four team fouls and out of bounds. It will go to Rice, still 21 on the shot clock. But the onslaught, the three-point shooting, 10 of 22 beyond the arc. Rice with nine for 22 on threes. And most nights they'll be pretty good, but the Waves have just shot the lights out. And they've done a good job isolating along the baseline. Out in front, Mason's three-point shot is short. And Houston Millet gets it. So in the front court, Millet pulls up. Jumper comes off the rim. And the loose ball picked up by Mason Jones, a 6'4 freshman from Chicago. Big strong guard, 6'4, 200 pounder inside trying to save. And does so as Mason out in front, the three pointer by Hasinovich, and that doesn't go. And Kulabali with the rebound. 72 51 Beverdine, and we have 12 13 remaining. Pass saved by Mitchell, and then tipped out of bounds by Makai Mason. The Waves will bring it in with the 18 on the shot clock. For Rice, they have a very good women's volleyball program. They're ranked in the top 25. So does Pepperdine. Waves have been ranked as high as 17. And Rice's football team is 5-4. and four. They need one more win to be bowl eligible. They're Western Kentucky on Saturday. This is Millette in the lane. Turns. Jumper. Good. 14 for Houston Millette. Everybody in the West Coast Conference, all 10 schools are playing on this Monday night. Uh, everybody in action, including number two, Gonzaga. Inside, throwing it up and in. Osevinovich, uh, his fourth point, 74-53. Pepperdine, Millett at the underhand. Houston Millett with the three. Timeout taken by Rice. The Waves red hot, 77-53. Consecutive games making the three a 17 tonight. As we take a look at our smart play of the game, presented by Ticket Smarter. Now let's take a look. We'll come back to that in a moment. Front court, this is Mason Jones. Waves in the second effort shooting 75%, six of eight from the field. In the corner, Hosanovich, his long shot comes up short. And Zedek with the rebound. The Mike Mitchell, Jr., 11-12 to go. You know, a nice lead like this, 77-53, but it can go quickly because the ball's going up so fast uh, and the tempo's so quick that it can allow a team like Rice to get back in this game in a hurry. And with over 11 minutes remaining, no lead is safe in a game like this because both teams just continue to fire one shot after another. Here's Millett along the baseline to Koulibaly dribbling, pivots underneath, throws it up and in. He has six, 79-53, and the Waves continue to be red hot. In the second half, the Owls are shooting 50%. Normally, they'd be pretty good. Fiedler's shot no good, but he draws the foul. It's going to be on Koulibaly, three on him. Five team fouls make it four against Pepperdine. As you see, working the ball down low to Fiedler, and Koulibaly defending 14 fouls against the Waves. Well, with Houston Millette, 17, Max Lewis, 22, 14 for Javon Border. Fiedler at the line, and the free throw is short. Pepperdine has not gone to the free throw line tonight. And for Rice, they're four of eight. And no free throws by Pepperdine, no points. And the next one, no good. And the rebound comes up, and we're going to get a foul. Could be on Koulibaly again. Fouls on Pepperdine. Lane violation. Lane violation, so no foul. And Fielder will get another one. Uh, directing tonight of uh, Wave casting the WCC Network. Jonah Barony producing Willie Rodriguez. Free throw. That doesn't go. And a rebound by Koulibaly. And special thanks to Roger Horn, Morgan Davenport, Sarah Ottoman, and Madison Barham out of the Pepperdine Athletics Communications Department. 
Koulibaly on the baseline, jumper no good. Rebound grabbed by Leeper. Down the floor coming quickly, Mason Jones. And we get a whistle away from the ball. Fiedler and Koulibaly battling down low. It's gonna be a foul on Koulibaly. That's four on him. Five team fouls against Pepperdine. Weiss has just one team foul in the second half. Max Lewis comes in. Boy, the crowd has been a big factor for Pepperdine tonight. We've got about a thousand strong, and the students have come out in big numbers on a Monday evening. A lot of rain outside. They're expecting a big rainstorm tomorrow. Weiss will head back home to Houston, play St. Thomas out of Texas on Thursday night. This is Jake Leeper dribbling, top of the key. Left side, Mason Jones, a shot attempt, rolls off, and Lewis with the rebound. Here comes uh, Malik Moore. Left side, Javon Porter, back to Lewis, laid up and in. Oh, a nice pass by Porter. Lewis with 24, 81 to 53 waves. Down the lane, jumper no good. Rebound grabbed by Porter. On the floor to Moore. Moore dribbling, top of the key, double team, ball taken away. Mason Jones uh, out to Sheffield, lay it in. Cameron Sheffield, nice lay in. He has 10 points in the game, and it's 81-55 Pepperdine, 9.25 left. Malik Moore on the right side dribbling, at 6-5, the freshman to Zedek, and he's fouled by Akuche. Second on him and his first and just the second team foul against Weiss they can afford to be aggressive and try to go for some steals they need to force turnovers Pepperdine in the game has only six in the contest and for Rice was seven 20 on the shot clock goes to Javon Border out to Houston Millett Let will back it up guarded by Akuche Another freshman for Rice. Out in front to Millett. Three-point shot, and he got it. Here's to Millett with 20. Lewis, 24. Porter, 14. 84-55, Pepperdine. Inside, shot blocked by Malik Moore. Head to Millett, driving, lay it up. Shot no good, but he draws the foul. Boy, the way it's getting out in transition. Foul's going to be on Akuche, second on him. Three team fouls, 84 55 Pepperdine. As you take a look at a nice block by Malik Moore. Alasanovich. Waves will get him free throws. The first time tonight they're going to the free throw line. And we have 847 left. And Houston Millette last year, an excellent free throw shooter. At 77%, he makes the free throw. He has 21 tonight. His season high last year was 31 as a freshman. Really talented guard, 6'5", the sophomore makes both. He has 22, Lewis 24. That's convincing performance by Pepperdine, much needed. And although this is just game one of a long season, it was a very important game with this young Pepperdine team to reestablish themselves. Akuche in the lane, and we get a block against Pepperdine. Going to be on Houston Millette. That is his second. Six team fouls, and Akuche will be at the line getting two shots. 8.32 remaining. 86.55 Pepperdine. Well, Rice, they will bring it inbound, so no shot to foul on the dribble. They actually won the College World Series in 2003. Pepperdine won the College World Series in 1992. Got something in common. Millette touches it last. Uh, both baseball programs very strong. Probably the most notable alumni at Rice, billionaire aviator and TV mogul Howard Hughes. You might remember him. There's to Jane Russell along the baseline. Jumper doesn't go. Rebound taken by Sheffield, but throws it away. Millette, right side to Moore, to Zedek, three-point shot is off the mark. Rebound fought for, and Leapert comes up with it. 
Uh, Jake Liebert, 6'4", junior from Scottsdale. And we get offensive foul against uh, Rice. That is eight. It's on Sheffield, his second. 8.07 left. And the crowd really enjoying themselves tonight. It'll make getting up for school a little bit easier tomorrow morning as the students have really turned out. You see the charge taken by the Waves at 8.07 left. Jake Lieber, who was a reserve last year, he transferred in from Pima Community College. He was a JC All-American. He led the nation with 125 three-pointers in 2020. We got a timeout taken, 7.58 to go. The Waves way out in front, 86.55. You're watching Wave Gaston. And for Rice in the second half, 7 of 17 from the floor, 41%. There you see Scott Perra. Prior to getting the head coaching job, he was three years as associate head coach at Rice as the Owls have possession of the ball before coming to Rice University has laid it in Okuche, who now has five. He was an assistant coach at the University of Pennsylvania for two years, an assistant coach at Arizona State for six years under Herb Sendek. As a Millet's jumper no good, the rebound and the foul underneath. Let's see if it's on Oliveri. Going to be against the Waves. Jan Zidek picks up his second. 17 fouls against the Waves. And at the other end, it will be Andrew Okuche at the free throw line, getting one and one. So for Scott Parrup, who is a former head coach at Artesia High School, won a state title in California in 2006. This top player was James Arden. He graduated of Penn State Harrisburg. Free throw missing. But the ball tipped out of bounds. And last touch by Rice, the Waves get it. Scott Perra, a graduate in 1989. Penn State Harrisburg, a Division III school. Right for Lorenzo Romar, head coach of the University of Washington, 15 years. Now in his fifth year with Pepperdine, second time around. Assistant at UCLA for four years on that staff that won a national title in 1995 as we get a whistle and a foul. Going to be against... Rice foul, Travis Eby, first on him, and five team fouls against the Owls. And Lorenzo Romar going to get his 446th career win, going to be inducted into the Southern California Basketball Hall of Fame. Jumper by Moore goes in and out. And rebound grab and taken in the front court. This is Mason Jones. Seven minutes to go. Wave's second half performance has been brilliant. And we get a push against Pepperdine. Going to be on Jan Zedek. Three on him. 18 fouls, and that'll send Rice to the free throw line. They're only four of 10 tonight. Team had shot 72% last year. There you see the 6'9 senior from the Czech Republic. His dad, George, played on that 95 national championship team at UCLA. Coached by former Waves head coach Jim Herrick, and Lorenzo Romar was an assistant on that staff. Free throw good by Mason Jones, his first point of the game. Waves have made 12 of 25 threes tonight, although it's a great stat. And when you shoot the ball as well as Pepperdine has, everything else looks good. Rebounding, defense, you name it. Next free throw good by Jones. But for the Owls, it's going to be a little bit longer trip going home to Houston. Tomorrow, 86-59, Beverdine, 6.50 to play. This is Malik Moore dribbling, fumbles, and you'll see offensive foul against Malik Moore and Lorenzo Romo off the bench. And pretty unhappy about the call. Moore picks up his second turnover for the Waves. That is their ninth of the game. For Rice, they've turned it over eight times. The 24 for Max Lewis, Houston Millette, 22. 14 for Javon Porter. Long three-pointer missing by Oliveri. Boy, Oliveri and Evie have been real quiet in the second half. Everdine's done a nice job on him. Here's Lewis driving, fumbled it and lost it. Waves turn it over. Jones gets it back, tries to take it up. Oh, Offensive oh, foul. It's gonna be a Makai Mason away from the ball. 
Mason first. Sixteen fouls, a turnover. And to take another look, to watch Mason who gave it back and then knocks down Houston Millet. His forward motion uh, picking up the foul. 86-59 Pepperdine. 6-19 left. Uh, for Pepperdine, a nice home opening win to knock off the Rice Owls and avenge last year's loss uh, in Houston. Right side to Millet. Jumper by Lewis, and he knocks it down. 26 for Max Lewis. His season best last year as a freshman, 27. Now he's right there. 88-59, Beverdine. The Waves just continue to shoot the lights out. Oliveri guarded by Millet. But for a young team like the Waves, a much needed win. Here's Oliveri traveling. Uh, no basket. Boy, for Rice, they only had three turnovers in the first half. And here in the second half, they have seven. Jalen Beatry comes in for the Waves. Another first-year player, 6'8", 220 from Long Beach. Last year played the prep school in Woodstock, Connecticut. A power forward, the Waves really like him. 5.30 to play. This is Mitchell, right side to Millette. Along the baseline, Mitchell throw in the corner, Lewis, three-point shot is good. A career high, Max Lewis, 29, 91 to 59. The Waves averaged 68 points a game last year. Losing the ball, Evie, but it goes right on the left side to Oliveri, who Oliveri. knocks down the three. He has 15 in the game. Fiedler has just six. Evie has 10, but only two in the second half. 91-62 Pepperdine. Uh, for Rice, they will regroup. They've got some good young talent, some veterans, some experience, and a nice balance. Here's Porter. Throw it out to Mitchell. Three-point shot rattles in. <laughs> 94-62. Waves are unbelievable tonight. But what you do the next game, you never know. Three-pointer missing by E.B., and we get a foul on the rebound. Waves at Cal State Fullerton Friday night. Waves in the summer took a trip to Costa Rica to kind of have the players get to know each other. Uh, what was in the water? The Waves, who had two scrimmages, didn't play really well against Riverside and Long Beach State. But you'd never know it tonight. This is Andrew Acuche, 94-62. Never missed free throw by Rice. They are 6 of 13. They've left 7 points at the free throw line. 94-62, Pepperdine. You just can't rely on your offense that much throughout the season. The Waves are not going to shoot this well every single game. They've had some great looks. They've done a great job. And Rice is a little bit undersized. And Waves have a size advantage. Pepperdine has five players, six, nine or taller. But it's a, either way, it's a great start. Pepperdine is 14 to 27 on threes. And the free throw no good. And Pepperdine in control, 418 left. 94 62. This is Max Lewis. Back to Mike Mitchell on the baseline. Out to Porter, three-point shot is long. Rebound comes up, we're going to get a foul. It'll be on Petrie. First, make it second on Petrie. And the ball goes back to Rice. Waves last year at home were 7-9. and nine. The Owls last year on the road were 6-12. and 12. So Kuche will be at the line. Boy, it's hard to fathom that Rice is 6 of 14 at the free throw line. 6 of 15. 94 62 Pepperdine. Waves led at halftime 46 to 38. Then back and forth early in the game, there were 10 lead changes and five ties in the first half. And the Waves came out of the second half on a 10 to 2 run and have never looked back. 407 left. So, like Couchet is good. 
He has four points in the game, the freshman out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. 6'9", 94-63. Lorenzo Romar assisted by Ken Bone, the associate head coach, assistants Curtis Allen, Gerald Brown, John Embleman, director of team operations. This is Porter right side. Excellent debut by the freshman Javon Porter. Left side, Mitchell with the three. Mike Mitchell, the sophomore, he has 13 in the game, 3 of 10 on threes, 30%, but only 4 of 11 at the free throw line for the Owls. For the game, Rice is shooting 40%. You take another look at Mike Mitchell Jr., who makes the free throw and completes the three-point play. He has 14 points in the game, and along with seven assists. 98-63. The Waves are going to go over the century mark. 3.48 to go. Max Lewis with 29 points, 6 rebounds, and 5 assists leading Pepperdine. Mitchell tries to save. They dive on the floor. Jay Yoon comes up with it. The lob to Porter sends it in. At the other end, Mason Jones, 100 for Pepperdine to 63. Another turnover for Rice. Porter, bad pass, and gives it right back. For the Waves, they're 11 turnover, but then the Waves almost get it back, and the ball goes out of bounds, and Rice will bring it in. So 29 for Lewis, 22 for Millette. He has five rebounds and five assists. Porter with 16, seven rebounds and four assists. As you see, Mike Mitchell lobbing to Porter. Four sophomores and a freshman starting for Pepperdine. Jay Yoon, a walk on. You see Javon having a great debut game. Mike Mitchell, 13.7 assists. The Waves have forced 11 turnovers and have converted that into 22 points. On the other side, Weiss has forced 10 turnovers, only seven points off that turnovers. Three points, shot is way long. Three minutes to go. Pepperdine, 100. Rice 63. Left side to Porter. In a game like this, you just forget about if you're Rice and look to the next game, we're going to get a foul. It's going to be against the Owls. And if you're Pepperdine, same thing. It's a nice win, but it's only one game. There you see Scott Perra in his sixth year. Paul Jordan the Lorenzo Romar, fifth season at Pepperdine, second time around. Also was the head coach at Pepperdine from 96 through 1999. Jay Yoon will be at the line. You, know, you always think, is it tougher to lose a game like this? I mean, it's pretty much been over since the early part of the second half. Or is it tougher to come back from, say, a two-point game that you might lose? In a game like this, you just hope oh, it's one of those nights and you get ready for the next game. Well, I saw him against Tank Thomas of Texas on Thursday night. Rice will also play the University of Texas, I think, in mid-December. That's always a great rivalry. Shot no good by Makai Mason. Gets his own rebound. His jumper again doesn't go. And beats you with the rebound. 2.24 to go. Jay Yoon down the lane. Laying up. Shoot. Shot blocked inside. And they're going to call goaltending. And Jay Yoon will get two points. He's a walk-on, fifth-year senior. Coaches really like his offense, and he gives them, gives the Waves a lot of experience, especially with just such a young team. Now the Waves have Malik Moore, a freshman, Jalen Petrie, a freshman, Majuk Dane comes in, he's a senior. Wild shot doesn't go, but we're going to get a foul. Senovich will be at the line. Jay Yoon's a senior. A couple shots coming. Boy, the Owls have struggled at the free throw line, and that one's no good. They're 7-17. Seven Let's bring in Paul Jordan to walk on. 6'6", six, six, freshman out of Seacliff, New York. 2.08 to play. Free throw good. And if you're Pepperdine, it's a great, terrific win. But you got to forget about it and get ready for your next game at Cal State Fullerton Friday. It's an impressive victory, no question about it. And you enjoy this for about 24 hours and then you move on. 
Well, win or lose. And most coaches will let the players enjoy it till about midnight, and then as Lewis, or Petri shot bought, and then about midnight, you forget about it and get ready for the next game. We're gonna get a foul against Dango. 102 to 64, Pepperdine, 141 to go. Ways with great balance. Four players in double figures. Carson Basham has eight. But the Waves led by Max Lewis, 29, 22 for Millette, 14 for Porter, 13 for Mike Mitchell. The Waves also have 23 assists on 40 made baskets. Here's Jake Liebert, the JC All-American in 2020, led all JCs nationally with 125 threes. Reserved last year, and he missed that one. 102-65, Beverly. And Malik Moore, good-looking freshman guard. Majuk Dang, the senior, dribble to the baseline. And the ball goes out of bounds. Pepperdine turns it over. 129 to go. Coming in for right, Rice and Scott Para. Is uh, Damian McDowell Jr., a 6'6 sophomore from Inglewood, a, a local guy in Southern California. This is Mason Jones, the freshman. Dribbling ball taken away by Jay Yoon. Clean steal. Lay it in. 104 to 65. Who would have thought this? Laying it up and in. As the Owls now down 104-67. Jim Pepperdine was a five-point favorite. And they have just Looks unbelievable. Here's Dang firing up a three that misses. Rebound fought for. And here come the Owls who going to their bench. Jackson Peaks, 6'4", freshman out of Houston. Bad pass thrown away. Boy, the turnovers have added up for Rice in the second half. They only have three in the first half. Goaltending, Jalen Beecher will get the basket. 106-67. Much for Rice going back to Houston and celebrating the World Series, the Houston Astros uh, in six over Philadelphia. Boy, Houston really was good this year. The pitching was unbelievable. And you see Petrie in the shot knocked away, goaltending. Three-point shot attempt is long. We're 18 seconds left. And let's see if we get a foul underneath. It's gonna be on Malik Moore. Three on him, 17 seconds to go. Pepperdine 106, and the Owls 67. Pepperdine women opened their season today at the Battle of Las Vegas and came up short in their game. Now they start 0-1. Boy, for Rice University at the free throw line, they just cannot make a free throw. They are 9 of 21. They have left 12 points at the free throw line. I'm not sure would have made a difference, but still, this is a good free throw shooting team. Another miss. Let the Owls come up with it. Any time for one more shot. Leapert outside with nine seconds. 106 67. Pepperdine Mason Jones is short with a shot attempt. One second, and that's going to do it. The final goal wins at 106 67. An impressive performance. We'll come back with a wrap-up. You're watching Wavecast on the WC.